Hey guys, what is up? Austin here, aka Bowtie Guy 97 Today we're going to be talking about my current wheel and tire setup and about specifically the stance or offset, however you prefer to call it. But before we get started, there's a couple things I want to go over. If you're on my Instagram, which is at Austin04 underscore Z71, you saw that on the story I posted up a poll and a flyer for the uh, truck show that I will be at March 3rd and 4th in Florence, South Carolina. That truck show is East Coast Truck Jam. Um, if you are within a couple hours away or you were in that area, I definitely say you should come out. It's going to be a good time. I will be there. The truck will be there in the show. Um, they do exhaust competitions like sound competition, uh, tug of war, burnout competition, as well as the show judging and a couple other cool things they got going on. It's a really good time. Um, it's indoor. They got indoor spots, outdoor spots if you want to enter your show. I mean, you know, show your truck. Um, spectating they can also do spectating um, I did get a look up on the prices I think if you enter your truck I think it's thirty dollars for the weekend if you want to spectate it's fifteen dollars for the weekend that includes the two days the Saturday and the Sunday so if you can come out definitely come out it would definitely be worth it um, I will of course like I said be there and I'll be there both days all day so uh, anytime that you can stop by you should do it and come on by if you're in the area or can travel it is so worth it the second thing I wanted to cover was stay tuned to the channel for the next couple weeks before the show. I have got a lot of stuff already coming in and being delivered. Um, last minute modifications that I needed to do to the truck before we go to the show. There's stuff that you know I've kind of put off until later in spring and now I'm at the last you know, down to the straw and need to get it done. Um, for example, the, the rock lights I currently have on, on it. One of the lights went out, we need to replace the rock light kit. I'll do a video on installing that. Um, if you own this generation truck, you know that the driver's seat has that rip right there. It's the only problem with my interior. I have a brand new bottom seat cover and that panel piece right there um, already been delivered. I just need to find the time to put that on. I'll do a video on that. The oil pressure sensor, that is a big one I've had people ask me about because if you've seen my oil pressure is pegged at 60, if even though it's not actually 60 pounds or PSI, um, I need to replace that sensor and really just need to clean it up and there's a couple other things that I know I'm forgetting. So uh, definitely stay tuned, hit that subscribe button if you're not already. A lot of cool content coming for you, including once we get to the truck show, there will be a lot of cool content from that event. If you're not able to make it, that will be covered here on YouTube. I'm excited to film that, I'm excited to do that, and hopefully I can bring myself to try to do something cool like enter the burnout competition or do something crazy and neat for one of the videos at the show. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So the wheels I have on here now are a 22 by 12 negative 51 offset fuel forged f19s now if you get a cast wheel and a 12 wide um, your biggest offset you're going to get is negative 44 now that's kind of the standard you know you got some that are a little less or right in there uh, american force is kind of i think the same thing at negative 44 maybe it's a little more than that um, but fuel forge you can get them in a negative 51 offset which is the most offset that i know of in a 12 wide segment so the video today is going to be really about <laughs> what it's like trying to deal with that much offset on your truck and you can see here in the video it's got stands i mean that we're a good bit out from the fender you know I, I got fender flares on you can imagine if you didn't have fender flares you can factor in a whole nother inch of offset but um thankfully i have fender flares so it's not so crazy but i want to get the tape measure out here and show you how far off we are all right so just to put that in perspective the tape measure is even with the fender flare on the truck and you can see how much of the tire is out past where the body of the truck is you know that's um you know that would be that's roughly uh, i'd say safely about three and a half to four inches of poke out past the fender flare i'd say three just to be safe now i like the look some people don't like the look a lot of people do like the look um i think it really looks awesome just the biggest thing that you're gonna start to deal with and this will be amplified if you run fender flares or you don't run fender flares. You can get bigger fender flares, which are the Bushwhacker, like the bolt-on style, wider. These are just the stock fender flares that came on the truck. But you can, of course, fix a lot of what I'm getting ready to talk about with fender flares if it is going to bother you. But 
the number one thing is everything that your tire is going to throw up as it's going down the road rocks dirt mud sand i don't know you know where it depends on where you live it's going to hit it's going to fly up and the chances are it either flies away or it flies into hits your truck or suv or whatever you've got so what you'll start to deal with especially if you live in an area where there's a lot of dirt roads gravel roads you will start to chip your paint rock chips and stuff like that now um you know the fender flares protect that to a degree but another thing that i have to worry about specifically is i have painted mirrors now these tires up in the front actually stick out just a little bit further than they do in the rear and that is because of the wider front track width and that especially was amplified when i did the four inch rough country lift on this truck um and that is inch and a half spacers in the rear to match the front i probably should have opened up the video with that that this much offset is because i have spacers in the rear and I, it's lifted so the front sticks out further if you are familiar with chevys if you do the differential drop and all that lift kits the wider the track in the front is is got is pushed out you have a wider front track than you do in the rear and your front tires stick out usually about two inches further than they did before you do the lift kit so if you want the rear to match the front you're gonna have to get spacers and like i did with inch and a half spacers so like i was saying everything that you run over is going to get flown up onto your truck hit you know if you've got painted mirrors or anything you've got painted is at risk to be flown up now the good thing is nowadays with the current automotive i mean uh, it does depend on the manufacturer the current quality of paint is pretty good um it can withstand and i know i'm in the industry I, I know it can withstand a good bit of abuse scratching chips and stuff like that but over time it will definitely start to show on your vehicle the second thing is when it rains it looks like somebody's got a garden hose stuck to the side of my truck and it's just shooting up in the air um when i first put these on i, I found it comical i was driving out and we we've had just rain 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 since i've put them on and i'll be going down the road and i mean it's a solid stream of water flying up out, you know off the road and the faster you go it just gets worse but that leads me to the next thing i used to be able to drive this truck it would rain and it would you know the rain would stop but the roads would be wet i could drive it the truck would be clean i could drive it down the road and for the most part the truck would still be clean when i got to where i was going because you know the fender flares caught all that throw up from the water you know i might have a little bit down at the bottom from the road but now that i've got these on and i actually wiped the truck down before i made this video i went to work on monday and it was not raining anymore it hadn't rained for like an hour just the roads were still wet and the truck was covered covered in stuff the hood uh the all the both the doors i mean there wasn't a single body panel that didn't have stuff on it just from those tires throwing up everything off the road now i don't want everybody to think i'm complaining and i'm a crybaby because it's you know well you got stance you did it to yourself i did do it to myself i just wanted to let you know if you do run stance you're going to face these obstacles um and know that this much offset on this body style silverado you know that's how far you're going to stick out um i'm more it's, it's just a beautiful day here in virginia i more or less just wanted to try to make a video for you guys today um because you know it's a beautiful day i didn't really have anything planned because i've got a lot of modifications like i said earlier in the video um coming up so all those i've got planned out and we'll have this video planned out but there you go we clarified some stuff on the exhaust i talked about the offset here on the wheels just a short and sweet video like i said in the beginning if you're in the area of florence south carolina in two weeks you should come to the show it will be awesome um, if you've got any questions about that feel free to dm me on instagram um, I will answer any questions you've got about it as well as anything else about the truck. I appreciate you watching. As always, take care. Have a great day.